What is up guys, my name is Premium Mayfid and today we're going to be fixing the touchpad in my Dell Inspiron 7567, which is my current gaming laptop and basically the touchpad just stopped working recently. So I need to replace that so I can actually use it. So last week's first comment was by Malik and I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I do want to give thanks to all the people who have been watching my channel lately. You guys have been giving me awesome feedback and I've loved it. Before we get started, if you guys are interested in getting free things on Amazon, make sure you watch to the very end end of this video. Today I'll be fixing the touchpad of my Dell Inspiron 7567. This appears to be a common issue where the touchpad will either just stop working completely or make your cursor jump all around on your screen randomly. Before you replace the touchpad, make sure you download all the latest drivers and test and see if it works in the BIOS. If it does still not work after all that, it may be worth looking into ordering a new touchpad like mine. I got mine on eBay and it is a newer version that is still compatible with the 7567 series. So anyways, to get started, you're going to need a set of tools usually used for phones and small devices. You need a standard screwdriver and a small star screwdriver. Do yourself a favor and use magnetic ones unlike me, otherwise you may lose screws inside of your laptop. So start by powering your laptop off and putting your laptop on its back and take out this screw. After you take it out, take a thin piece of plastic and wedge it under until this panel pops off. Once again, do not do what I did here, a flathead screwdriver will probably scratch your laptop. So once you take it off, you're going to need to take out these five screws on your battery. Be careful not to lose any of the screws like I did. Once you get all the screws out, you're going to want to take this wire off the board and gently lift the battery out of the laptop. Next, you're going to unattach this wire by lifting this black piece up and gently pulling the ribbon wire out. Then you're going to need to take out four screws only on this side closest to the motherboard. After this, you're going to want to peel this tape back to allow your touchpad to be taken out. So now I would crack your laptop open and gently push the touchpad in until it comes out. Now you should slide your new touchpad in and make sure that it does not crush any wires under the touchpad. Once you have your new touchpad in place, I would pull the piece of tape back onto the new touchpad and apply a small piece of electrical tape to hold it on there. After that, you need to screw your four screws back into the touchpad. Be careful not to over tighten these, but also don't leave them too loose, otherwise your touchpad will not be too sturdy. Now lift the black hinge on the new touchpad and slide the ribbon wire back into place and shut the hinge. Now you just need to reinstall your battery. I just put two screws on either corner of the battery to hold it in place temporarily so that if I incorrectly installed the touchpad, I wouldn't have to take all five screws out again. Next, plug the wire on the battery pack into the motherboard. Make sure that it's really in there and not loose. Now, all you have to do is put your back panel back on and test it out. If it works, go ahead and screw the rest of the screws into the battery and put the screw back into your panel on the bottom of your laptop. Of course, as soon as I booted mine up, I had to wait a while for it to update, but eventually it rebooted and it worked perfectly. I like the way the new touchpad looks too. The extra red brings a lot more life into my gaming laptop. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe for weekly tech content. So back to getting free things to review. Basically, I've been working with this company that sends you products to review and um, basically they need reviews for their products and they're willing to send you the product out completely free and free shipping just for you to write a review. So that's what I did with the smartwatch actually recently and I love the thing and it was like a $35 smartwatch I just got completely for free and I've been getting a bunch of things like this recently. So if you guys are interested just make sure you send an email to the email address down below and uh, once you do that I'll give your contact information to the company I've been working with and you guys can get free products. So that That'll wrap up today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. It is touching.